me, knife making began as something of a diversion from my regular job as a motorcycle journalist. At the time, he was writing for motorcycle magazines and he went by Moto Joe on a radio show that he was doing in Los Angeles. I was focused on pattern welding, running a forge out of the garage of my condo. I remember I would come home from work each day to find Joe working on his forge projects down in the garage of our rented condo. All of his tools were on casters, so he could roll them aside and we could park our cars there at night. Even his anvil was on casters. <laughs> there was definitely a spirit of discovery about it all at the time. You gotta remember, this is the early 1990s. The internet didn't exist as we know it today. Uh, YouTube wouldn't be created for another 10 years. There were a few books on the subject of pattern welding mostly concerning theory and history. And very few people doing pattern welding with any sophistication, especially in my favorite area, which was migration and Viking period swords. These are particularly difficult to do correctly, and that meant lots of trial and error and lots of problem solving, lots of tool building. It was great, and something about it was intoxicating enough. I was forging knives full time, and the motor journalism was the diversion. Sometime around 2005, I began focusing on folding pocket knives. The first project in that area was the EDC. This model introduced a novel pocket clip concept. It was a retractable pocket clip positioned along the knife's distal edge. The EDC also brought about one of the greatest challenges we'd faced yet. The prolonged struggle with the U.S. Patent Office, it catastrophically drained our resources. The lawyer bills were devastating, and we were out of money. So uh, I took over prosecution, and finally, eventually, was successful in attaining my first U.S. utility patent. The EDX was the next major folding knife project, and it introduced two new U.S. patented technologies. This included a novel lock concept with integral pocket clip. the lockdown pivot system, which makes the blade pivot point a fully tightened interconnection between the handle halves. That's a dramatic structural improvement that's readily adaptable to other folding knife designs. There are also some novel solutions in fixed blades, including the lanyard system on the CK1, and the no fastener handle construction on the CK3. The morphing crombit was created to address the expressed needs of emergency first responders, many of whom favor the crombit style pocket knife. It overcomes known issues that are intrinsic to common designs. Essentially, it does this by breaking the mold and introducing a whole new product category. The morphing crombit was the result of almost two years of development. 12 months of which were full-time, meaning all other projects were frozen, no other knives being made or sold. It was a sacrifice and risk for the whole family, but the overwhelming response for the morphing karambit in the knife community, it was obvious. We needed to develop it and make it available as soon as possible. This Kickstarter is for bringing about an exclusive morphing karambit build using only premium materials and processes and proudly done right here in the United States. So please check out the rewards and thanks for backing this project.